No Man's Sky recent update to freighter building is amazing in my opinion and there is so much you can do now on your freighter to just make like an incredible build but what we're going to talk about today is how to do a functional build on your freighter now so this would be you know uh something we're not going to get into making it look fancy we're, we're just talking about a functional freighter build and uh, this would be for anybody who maybe doesn't have an S-Class freighter yet, so you don't want to build too much or something on it, or, you know, something like that. Um, so, I'm going to show you what I have. Okay, so here we are on the bridge. And now, I wanted everything kind of close to the bridge. Everything you're going to need often, because we can warp in our freighters now, and it's a lot more useful than it ever was for a few reasons. So if you warp in your freighter, so this is basically how I have mine set up. So right outside here, we got the scanner. So when we warp in the freighter, we can immediately scan and check out all the planets if we're looking for a specific kind of planet. So I put that right near the bridge to make it quicker now this is the fleet control room in here i also put the portal but here you can see all my my fleet control and what i did was i did them all on the line so basically i could interact with each one go all the way down the line collect the loot and then go right to this terminal and sell the stuff that i don't want you can really build big on the freighter now um and it can it can even get confusing so it's something you're really going to kind of want to plan out but for the functional build um like this i would suggest everybody do something similar to this you know just so you don't have to run around too much when you're doing your fleet missions and scanning for planets now i threw my storage set up all the way in the back here um you could do this, I'd say, any way you want because you're not you, on the freighter because you can get into your storage from right in the menu. You don't ever need to come to these actual storage units. So I'd say put them wherever you want and just, you know, make it look as cool as you can. But then we got some other tech. We got stuff like uh, the Stellar Extractor Core and the Refiner. These, you know, I, I would place those where you think you're going to need them. So, for example, up here, I built, like, an engine room. And basically, it's just a bunch of refiners because they look super cool. And uh, some other, you know, little decoration and stuff. But then I got a little crazy and did some stuff like that, which is doable. And there's a pyramid on top of my freighter. So, you may be thinking, well, how do you build this stuff, Zoo? All right. So, let's say... We want to do our fleet command room. So we're going to grab the fleet command rooms. And if we drop them next to each other like that, it's going to make like they're going to go right next to each other. So if we just keep putting these down, and that was actually facing, you can rotate. So rotate them the way you want. But you do something like that, and then and then you can take the expansion, you know, and make it so it's not so claustrophobic in here, and put down some of your other tech. Like, um, so I would do six or more of these fleet command things, and then like in your first uh, room, I would also get the scanner in there, and the um. The terminal, the Galactic Trade Terminal, you would want somewhere close by. And that is, you know, a simple functional kind of setup that you could do right off your bridge to make it easy for the fleet missions and uh, whatever else. I mean, you can get crazy building on these guys. Uh, they can, you could build really big. But in this, I just wanted to cover like a functional, simple type of build for if you just want to use your freighter for fleet missions and uh, warping around. 
this is kind of all you really need is the fleet commands and the scanner and you know you, you could obviously you know put a portal or something in here that would that'll help you so yeah a lot of the stuff like i have on my freighter is really for looks you know just building all these kind of things so we can come look at our living living frigates building building platforms and stuff so again, I mean, this is decoration stuff and you can get into this later and get into more advanced glitching on the freighter and stuff like that because that is a thing. Can glitch build on the freighter uh, and do some really neat things. But basically, guys, I wanted to show you this setup because it's worked out really well for me. Just having the bridge right there having my scanner right there, having all my fleet set up right here. You know, just really easy and quick to control. And then I have lots of other stuff, you know, that's more decoration, but you know, I don't really have to go use it much. This is where I would spend most of my time here or the engineering room, which I do have portals. So you can just go back there, you know, because if I want to refine stuff, Oh, look, I had nanites in there. How about that? Well, I guess they stay. <laughs> How long has that been in there? I have no idea. So, yeah, there's still definitely some work to do. But I was hoping that this video could give you some few a few ideas of what you can do on your freighter. Because the freighter building is really a lot of fun. And you can really open these rooms up and make some cool stuff. And to get like these open spots between these things, you just need to place them next to each other and it will create like a open spot and then use the expansion rooms to, you know, extend things. And that's about it. That's how you build a functional freighter base. But like I said, get as crazy as you want with it because you can really do a lot now on the freighters with building. I mean, it's it's insane. It is insane. Some of the builds are just so incredible that I have seen people pulling off. Um, it's really a lot of fun. So if you haven't gotten into this yet, I suggest you do. It's one of the best features we've gotten, I think, in a long time. A lot of fun. Fleet command. Boom, boom, boom. Pick them all up. Get your loot. Go to this. Sell the loot you don't want. Run back send your missions back out that's that's basically what i do like pretty much every time i i log into the game i'll come up here i'll pick up all the loot sell it come back to him send more missions out and that's pretty much how i use my freighter except for now i'm really into building on it so i'm doing all kinds of crazy stuff but that is just for fun it's not so much for function this is really the functional part of my freighter and aside from those rooms with refiners in it which uh you know i could refine stuff if i needed to but this is this is the main thing everything else is uh just decoration that i did and stuff like that that's not really functional it's just cool like my 10 forward bar here i don't know why the npcs aren't hanging out but yeah, like this is just this is just the fun bar room that I made. So it doesn't do anything, but you can have a lot of fun. And you know, my nip nips just for decoration here or for friends who come by. But you know, we got the sick bay. Again, though, this is all for looks, guys. And I'm just showing you this just to give you some ideas of what you can do on your own freighter. But I suggest starting off with first, before you get into decorating a bunch of stuff and uh, building a bunch of stuff, I would get, I, I would first set up the functional parts of the freighter, the things you're gonna be interacting with on a regular basis, like that scanner, which guys, if you haven't gotten this, this is, this is a game changer for planet hunting. Because you could just warp in your freighter, scan a whole system, see if you want to go visit any of the planets in it. So it's really great. Yeah. And that's how you build a functional freighter build. I hope that helps someone out there. If it did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out, and I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.